This week, we also saw a bizarre ad that's trying to strike a chord, and it's probably A minor. Hi, I'm Gina Reinhart, very proud patron of four of our Olympic team sports. Our Olympic athletes are shining on the world stage. Their success spreads excitement and pride across Australia. Like our Olympic athletes, our mining industry works hard. Minerals and gas sitting idly underground and nothing. The Australian mining industry has provided in the last 14 years $300 billion of company tax and royalties. When mining does well, Australia does well. But we cannot forget, when mining doesn't do well, nor do Australians. What a catchy tagline. <laughs> When, when mining does well, uh, Australia does well. But when mining doesn't do well, nor do Australians. <laughs> I'd have gone with Aussie, 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 or, or, or. <laughs> Ty, you love this ad. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Yeah, it's pretty bad, isn't it? It's the worst. I mean, this, this is the problem with advertising is that you uh -huh. can buy it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Gina Reinhardt and Clive, and they have used advertising for their own political means. And, and it, this is, I'm okay with the, there being an ad that's promoting mining and there being an ad that promotes the Olympics, but she's conflated these two things together. Uh, and it, it makes it super irritating. And it, it's referred to as sports washing. It's been around for a long time. People use sports. You, you see fossil fuel companies disproportionately use sports in this country. So coal, oil, gas, they're all over our, our, our athletes. They're all over the jerseys. They're all over the, the grounds. Uh, and the reason is it's an association strategy. So what they want is they want to pull the goodness of the Olympics, the goodness of athletes training and overcoming barriers, the goodness of winning, and they want that to wash away some of the negatives that they have as businesses. And this is a a kind of horrible example of someone overtly using that. And what, what irks me most about the ad is the threat at the end. <laughs> but let's be clear on what she means, because mm. she's not, the, the ad, for all its uh, horrible execution, uh, sh it is fairly clear, mm. which is that if you don't uh, support mining, I won't support athletes, mm. and we won't do well at the Olympics. Mm. All the mining companies, all the mining companies should spend lots of money on let's say, Australian Olympians or just on, on social licence, on doing all they can to invest in in our culture. They really yeah. should. I mean, yeah, you know what a way to do that would be? Pay their tax. Yeah. <laughs> Take one on tax. <laughs> <laughs> then the tax bill is like $455 billion or something yeah. massive. No, they're yeah. pretty good at paying... They're very good at paying their tax. Yeah, the bit they pay, so, they're good at paying. <laughs> yeah, OK. <laughs> so, I... I think that's a really important part of the big Australian mining businesses and, and the other big businesses as well. They should invest in Australian sport, etc., Australian culture. And I've got no issue with them advertising. I think that's a good idea. But at some point in time, someone has got to knock on the door and say, Mrs. Reinhardt, no, this is not a good... This is not a good execution. Because you, in an advertising sense, you're competing against BHP. BHP do some really good advertising. Like, you know, it's up there. Rio Tinto is now advertising. They're advertising is up there. And, of course, other corporate brands, like a Shell, for example, they do very good advertising. So there's an advertising competition element to this as well, which I think has been ignored by Roy Hill and those that are advising Mrs Reinhardt. I'll give you some advice. Mm. You banned that painting because you thought it was bad for your image. You made this one. <laughs> 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 yeah. But she basically effectively turned a PowerPoint presentation <laughs> into an ad. And then um, my personal highlight is the, the ghost rowers, the rowers in front of the train. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Say, yeah. They talk about underground, but we see, I think, which is an autonomous train. Nothing says humanity like an autonomous train, I, uh, I think. Well, those and ghost rowers were actually <laughs> killed by a train. <laughs> <laughs> They're dead. <laughs>